The Beercoin meme on the Solana chain had a massive roller coaster. We covered Beercoin very early on this channel, more on this later. Now the price has crashed down again. The question is, does it make sense to buy this dip? Is this an opportunity to buy low and sell high? Or is this simply just throwing good money after bad money? Let's have a look at the on-chain metrics most people aren't considering. So here's how I covered Beercoin on this channel. There was a video 18 days ago. It outperformed a regular video. Another video followed that was two weeks ago. One more around 12 days ago. It still gets search volume. And that was when the price was at 0.14 cents, then at 0.17 cents, and then at 0.34 cents. And so that's the beer coin roller coaster. We talked about beer coin early. The price went up above 5 cents to 5.5 cents. Now it crashed back down to 0.18 cents. And so does it make sense to buy this dip given that we are very close to the original prices? I like to look at on-chain data. I like to look at what are the whales doing? What is retail doing? How much interest is there currently in beer coin? Now, first let's have a look at the number of first-time traders versus recurring traders. Because if there's more and more first-time traders jumping on a token, that means that the token investor base is growing. That means that the price tends to grow. We had a massive influx of new traders up until the 26th of May. So that was before the Coinbase listing. So that was purchases over here in this region. And the price subsequently still did a 6x almost. Then we had pretty equal trading. Then we had another massive influx of first-time traders on the 5th of June. The 5th of June was over here. And again, the price almost doubled from there. We then had massive activity of recurring traders on the 13th of June. The 13th of June was over here and subsequently the price fell by more than 50%. So far, we don't see a revival of first-time traders. It's still the recurring traders that are dominating trading and that means existing investors in the token taking profit or potentially also locking in their losses. Now, there's an interesting pattern regarding the time of the day. So this is hourly candles and this shows us the number of first-time traders by trading hour and we tend to see very low numbers around midnight UTC time zone. So we see that over here on the 14th. We also see this over here on the 15th and the 16th is not that different. So let's have a look at the prices at midnight UTC. So have a look at this. This is over here. We are at a low point at the price at midnight UTC. Let's have a look at this also rather at the lower end of the trading range. But check this out. Nailed the bottom perfectly. Trading activity tends to be low at midnight UTC because Asia just woke up. America is asleep. Europe is asleep. Trading activity is low. With low activity comes low prices because there's little trading volume. The only trading volume that tends to be relevant at the time is the existing traders potentially trading bots trading against one another. So if you're trading meme coins actively and those meme coins aren't yet dominated by the centralized exchanges, dominated by all kinds of massive algorithms, but the price action is actually dominated by the retail investor, it makes sense to buy around midnight UTC. So the price peaks tend to be around eight hours before midnight UTC. The price bottoms tend to be around midnight UTC. Again, it's not perfect, but the trading volume tends to move pretty perfectly in that direction. And again, very often when the day has just started, the recurring traders tend to be higher than the first time traders. That even happens on day when over the time the first time traders outpace, right? They all come later in the day. And so does it make sense to buy this bottom, right? Technically, we seem to have traded around this trading range for quite a while. This seems to be a quite inviting support. Is this a potential low risk versus high return? turn trade. Let's have a look at what the whales and the large retail investors are doing. So this is the daily trading volume by segment and we can see how the whales tend to dominate the trading when prices are low. So have a look at this massive trading volume by the whales on the 23rd of May that was over here and now they tend to come back again. They seem to be accumulating again since the 13th. Not as much as they initially bought of course but still they tend to accumulate again. They started on the 13th, they buy more and more as we are falling down and that's a positive sign. When we add large retail to this, it's not as clear of a sign. The cutoff for all of those different cohorts is the following. Small retail is wallets below $1,000, medium retail is up to $10,000, large retail is up to 100k 
and whales are more than 100k of holding of the token and i believe when the large money is getting involved when the large money is buying that's potentially good because the large wallets are large for a reason right they tended to make the right calls in the past and so i do believe that success is somewhat correlated with past performance right if you made the right calls in the past probably you are skilled somewhat probably know things that other people don't and so seeing those wallets getting slowly engaged again is good again they are slowly getting engaged it's not like they are buying massively they are starting to buy and so that's probably a good approach in this market the current momentum is obviously negative but the price is also very low and so it's very hard to pick the bottom perfectly right but beer coin seems to be a pretty big deal on the solana chain as a whole and so i'd be very surprised if the coin suddenly completely disappeared and nobody's going to trade it anymore check this out beer coin had most trading volume in the last 24 hours on the entire chain and ordered by liquidity it's still at number six it does have a bit of upside though now right it can easily 3x again from here and a 3x of course would put the price to similar heights where we had been before so what do i personally do i am planning to buy some beer coin as well i say i'm planning to not i have bought i will buy i always announce this beforehand i never buy a coin before and then make a video to pump and dump on you i always buy after publishing a video and this time a few hours after publishing this video i'm also going to buy some beer coin i'm going to do this in a similar fashion as the whales so i'm going to dabble into this in case we see a further crash i might buy some more but i'm not going to bet the farm on this right the momentum is still negative a lot of people have been burned and the market has to calm down first i will continue to make updates on beer coin so if you're interested in that feel free to subscribe a like would be very much appreciated as well it helps the channel grow if you've got telegram then feel free to click the link down below there's also a link to the premium membership if you want to level up your crypto skills feel free to check it out it's the bitcoinstrader.com see you over there as well cheers